there, Nova Scotia. Welcome back to my channel at Colorful Creations. I'm so excited. Today's the day. I'm doing a collaboration with four other artists. Um, it's the four other artists. We have Brian from Brian's Upper Valley Artistry, um, Lori from the Sad Studios, um, Dave from Dave's Acrylic Boring Art, and Yan from Yancy Art, and of course myself. So we're using the same colors and all different techniques. And um, they'll all be released right now at the same time as mine. And I'll have links to their videos in my description so you can go check them out after, after you finish this video. Um, so I am gonna show you my canvas. So I'm working on an 18 by 24 canvas. I am, the colors we're using are red, orange, yellow, um, gold, and turquoise, and any um, shades of those we want. So I'm using um, Brilliant Red by Montmartre. We have Orange by Montmartre. Medium Yellow by Montmartre. I have Turquoise by Montmartre. I have Gold also by Montmartre. Lots of Montmartre. <laughs> and I have Metallic White by Artist Loft. And I also have this Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. It's kind of turquoise, so that counts. And I'm going to do puddles, and then I'm going to put this golf ball in there. It's kind of messed up, so it's it's okay. <laughs> and just roll it around and let it create the, the painting. So all my um, paints are mixed the same. I used um, four ounces of Elmer's glue, four ounces of Floetrol, four ounces of paint, two ounces of Liquidex Pour Medium, and then I used a little bit of water just to water down to the consistency that I want. Um, I'm actually using all of my things. I have them all in, in bottles today, pre-mixed. So it's a lot easier. So I just put them in these, I got these bottles from Amazon. <clears throat> They're awesome and they, you can measure if you want, but I usually um, mix mine in cups and then stir it up and then put it in there. So one little thing to do, if you're using stuff in bottles, make sure you just like, if it's been sitting a while, give it a little shake and test it. <laughs> like you don't want that to happen, right? Like if you don't want to squeeze it and then a whole bunch explodes at the top. So I'm just gonna test it, show you right here. So just make sure that it's gonna, that's gonna come out like a decent speed. I'll lay a piece of paper towel down there. I'm just gonna test them all. Make sure there's, Nothing's gonna explode on me. You see, good thing I tested that because that looks like it's mixed something in there. My top's dirty for the white one, so I just poured a little bit into this cup, and I'm gonna have to just be really careful when I pour it. Okay, so these are the colors. Pretty. And now I'm gonna do some random puddles. So I'll just do the first few real time and then I'll speed it up.
time for the golf ball. Should I just leave it? I think I'm gonna leave it. This is this is good. Look at this ball. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can leave it dry like that. Actually, probably not. It'll probably glue itself to the table. Okay, towards this, there's more bubbles. So now there's just a little bit, I wonder if I can just tilt it to um, come over the edges. I don't want to lose my composition. I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm just going to add more white around the edges. Covered. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make sure my, there's a couple spots here. This is looking awesome. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a stick and just run under the edge and get the, the extra drips off. I'm 
Now you always make sure that the cups are just inside the edge, not on the canvas part, because they'll make a big dent, but on the frame, but just inside. So that way, if there's any more paint that runs off, it can freely run off and not just glue itself there. Okay, let's come in for a closer look. I'm really happy with this. All right, so we'll see how it dries. We'll be back in a couple days. All right, here it is dry. I just wanna show you right quick cause I'm gonna put some resin on this and it's gonna look way better and have a wet look forever. So I'll just look at this really quick and then you can see the difference. All right, let's add the resin. I'll have a full tutorial on this out in a few days or a week. I, I just have to finish editing it. I have a whole bunch of stuff in there so I wanted to make a full video of it. So we add the resin and then you let it cure for 24 hours and then you're finished and it is gorgeous. And here we are. That was my dog that just ran behind there in the background if you noticed. This turned out so nice. I'm not sure if I liked it before I tilted it a little or after. Both ways were just really nice and the golf ball just really makes some amazing um, designs in through here that are just awesome. You can really see the metallics glowing in the sun. Really like this. So make sure you go check out this for other artists. The links are in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Oh.